Slovakia is a young country still forming its identity and asking a Slovak person what are some values in their home country might be followed by a long silence. To those of us living abroad, these values, whether they are personal, individual or cultural, they come clear to us once we get confronted with cultural differences. So I would like to spark a discussion with you guys, Slovak people living abroad or the rest of you back home. What is it that Slovakia stands for? So here is what I believe are the top five values that reflect the Slovak culture. We attach a great importance to family, relationships, feelings, and people in general. Everything evolves around it. And I do have kind of a love-hate relationship with this value because in my humble opinion, it's also one of the reasons why Slovakia has corruption issues. You know, often it's more important who you know than what you know. And taking care of your relatives might be more important than, let's say, the higher good. I love the fact though that I can always count on my family and friends to be there for me, no matter what. Slovak people are considered to be success-oriented and driven by many of their foreign colleagues and friends. I'm always amazed to see all these successful Slovak people all around the world. I think since we don't have a long independent history, we want to prove everyone that we are as good as anyone else or even better. I mean, look at this guy. Czech Prime Minister is a Slovak. I mean, you might not like him, but you need to give it to him. He made it big time. Long working hours and dedication to work are needed to achieve this. And status is a important aspect in this as well. So being able to show what we've achieved. So status symbols like cars, houses, clothes, they play a big role as well. I like to consider myself a flexible person and a master of multitasking. And it makes sense. Looking at our history, if you are ruled by other countries, not knowing what the future brings, you need to improvise a lot. And yes, I like to have this excuse for my hate of detail, plans and agendas. And I do consider it as one of my strengths. I can better react to my clients' needs. I come up with creative solutions to problems. And in my opinion, flexibility equals innovation because it speeds up the process of reacting to market developments. I knew I was very harmony oriented the moment I got confronted with the directness of other cultures not naming anyone specifically. Germany? Okay, okay, no stereotyping. But, you know, I do believe that the Slovak people would value politeness over honesty anytime. Being too direct, especially with criticism, won't get you anywhere in the Slovakia. And again, this has to do with the relationship orientation that is deeply rooted in the Slovak culture. We simply don't want to hurt anyone. So for our direct friends out there, if you don't want to come across as a jerk, just keep your judgment to yourself, please. Okay, I feel like this one is what we like to believe of ourselves, especially if we are asked about the Slovak culture. I do like to believe it about myself as well. If the foreigners would agree, that's the question. So you can let us know in the comment section below. And also special greetings to the mean service in some of our restaurants in Slovakia. I do think it's improving though. Now it's your turn. What are some of the typical values in your country and how are they different from what I believe are the typical Slovak ones? Also, for my Slovak fellows out there, what did you think about it? Do you have different values that you would see as typical Slovak? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, hit the subscribe button. 
and share with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching and I catch you next time on Founderless.